If you're having problems with your wireless printer, mine is an HP NV5032. Basically, it doesn't wake up a lot of the time. Uh, you go to print and the printer is offline uh, or it's just unresponsive. I'll try it now. So if I do test and send a print, print. Okay, my printer has shown up. If I hit print, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's printing. But this, a lot of the time, doesn't happen this way. Now what we usually do if there's a problem, touch the screen, that's supposed to wake the printer, but invariably it doesn't. Uh, so I find often if you press and hold the power button, that will force a shutdown. So if we do that now, you can see it says shutting down. Wait for it to shut down and then start it up. And sometimes that works. But if that doesn't work, so if it's very unresponsive, all I do is unplug the cable, leave it out for a minute and then plug it back in again. And eventually I can usually get it to work, but it is a real pain. And usually it's my wife trying to print late in the evening. I'm trying to play a video game, but it's just annoying that I have to go and do it and try and sort it out. So I fixed it with a Raspberry Pi. Now upstairs I've got a Raspberry Pi 5 connected using Raspberry Pi Connect. So if I tap on here and I can tap on screen sharing and I have access to my Pi. I don't need this bit for the printer, but it's actually nice to have because I can access my Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world. As long as I have a data connection, it will connect to it and give me a full desktop experience. Now it definitely works better with a mouse and keyboard, but it is still usable. So if I tap on here, you can see that all the apps and things come up. I've got access to my NAS drive. I've got access to one of my remote cameras as well. So Raspberry Pi Connect as a free online service, a free remote desktop service is great. So let's show you how I set it up. And I was trying to work out which Pi to use. Now, I don't have Ethernet in that room. I could use power lines, but it's all extra hassle. So that kind of rules out the early Pis without Wi-Fi. I do have a Pi 02W, which is a very low power device, which I think is probably the best one uh, in this case, because I think it doesn't really need to be powerful or anything. I've got a Pi 3B Plus, uh, that's also Wi-Fi, Pi 4, uh, and also Pi 5, but a Pi 5 is definitely overkill, but I was using mine because my one upstairs is my early one uh, that I was sent before they were released, and one of the HDMIs doesn't work. So I'm gonna try with a 02W. So let's boot up my Pi. Oh, we need to switch it on at the back. This is the new Desk Pi Lite case. I've got a separate video on this. And this is running from an NVMe at the moment, so it means I can write to an SD card very simply. So I've popped an SD card in. Let's type in imager and launch that. Choose device, 02W. Choose OS, Raspberry Pi OS. I'm gonna use the 64-bit version. Choose storage, and that's my SD card. And let's write that. So we need to go through the normal setup and update the software. Okay, that's all up to date. I can restart. So we need to connect the Wi-Fi, pop your password in, and then set up Raspberry Pi Connect. So if you click on Connect and turn on, I get a warning about Chromium. It's gonna be slow for this bit, but once you get past this bit, it'll be fine. And let's sign in. Let's sign in and I'll call it printer zero as I already have one called printer. Okay, now I can close down the browser, which will make the Pi behave a lot better. Now, unfortunately, my printer doesn't have a USB connection. You know, sometimes they have them to plug in a USB drive. That would probably power a Pi Zero 2W. As it happens, I'm just using the Raspberry Pi 4 charger to power it. And you can see I've just got a micro to USB-A adapter, which is meaning that the printer is now plugged into the Pi. And if we go over to my Mac, I'm actually using the Connect service to access it remotely. So it's not wired in here, it's doing this over my Wi-Fi network. So now if I click on Start and Preferences and Print Settings and go to Add Printer, click on USB,
and you can see it picks up on it and let's call it zero print and apply I'm not going to bother with the test page and now if I go to server and settings and I just need to turn all of these to be sharing it click OK and I can disconnect from this so I mentioned before my setup has been my Pi 5 and I'm using it in this DeSalvo case because it's fanless but it keeps itself nice and cool and it's been brilliant for the last couple of months or so I've been using this and any time my wife has said that this isn't printing in the normal way I've said try Raspberry Pi print and she's selected it and it's worked and it's only once it didn't work and for some reason it was asking for the Wi-Fi network I don't know if that was something to do with my router blocking something but over a couple of months haven't had any problems and also the printer's more reliable as well so it seems to stay awake more because it's been wired to this because generally three or four times a week I've got to try and sort it out, switch it off, switch it on again uh, just play around with it to get it working so yeah a big fix and possibly with this 02W as well so let's try it so I've got a file here uh, let's hit print so it comes up with zero print I can hit print and let's see if it works I can see the light flashing yeah it's starting to print so this is printing basically over my network and I'm probably going to stick with the Raspberry Pi 5 because I also use this as a remote desktop so I've got my NAS drive uh, on my network so I can access all of my files and backups I can send things to it I can send things from it as well because it's running Raspberry Pi OS and the 02W whilst probably absolutely fine as a print server and will be using loads less energy so if we go into the WhatsApp not WhatsApp but this one this will show me the plug, so I guess it's this one. Yeah, it's currently using one watt of power, which is pretty decent. This is the other one in my garage that starts charging my car. I definitely recommend these plugs if you want to monitor how much energy you're using, but also just be able to switch things on and off manually from wherever you are with an internet connection and also set timers as well. Excellent they are, very cheap. Okay, so hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.